Hey, welcome to the DM's Craft. I'm DM Scotty. I'm sitting here at my uh, painting bench and today I wanted to show you a painting technique that I'm going to do. Um, the uh, player characters come across this village that's been attacked and there's still some smoldering build, uh, cottages around and uh, I want to simulate that with this paint job on this uh, terrain. So uh, we'll get to that and I'll show you how I do that. So what you'll notice here is um, I have a, a burned out husk of a building and I base painted it black. And But one thing you'll notice is it's 3D. It's not um, flat um, like the other terrain. Uh, sometimes I do do this and since it's so uh, destroyed um, it's not going to obstruct the play area that much. It's not going to be uh, around the whole play area. Play area so. Um, I uh, I made this like more of a 3D piece. So this was a former cottage that has burned down. And um, basically what I did is I just made a base of cardboard. And then I uh, made walls out of cardboard and just did them in the shape of the cottage. Um, and then what I also did was I took um, uh, small pieces of wood um, I use stir stick, coffee stir sticks, wood stir sticks, but you could use other uh, thin pieces of wood like balsa wood or basswood. And I just broke them off and jabbed them into the um, into the uh, uh, cardboard, so they're kind of popping out um, and giving, looking like the structure has collapsed. Um, I also put some on the base. Um, I glued some to the base. I glued some flocking and um, some of the, the basswood strips to the base. Um, now keep in mind when you make stuff like this, you don't want to pile the rubble up too high because then the figures won't be able to move around easily. They'll keep falling over. So don't get too crazy with it, you know. Just give it, give enough to give the effect. Um, and it also might seem kind of counterintuitive that I painted this black instead of white or yellow. But remember that, um, Yellow and white, even flat white, uh, have a very hard time covering up uh, things. And this box had um, some printing on it, so it would have been hard for the white or the yellow to cover it up. Um, so I just prefer to just do everything black, um, unless there's a specific reason that I'm painting it white, uh, and it's already a light color to begin with. Um, I generally prefer to use the black. So. Um, now I'll, uh, I'll get started on this and show you how I do it. All right, I'm ready to go. So I've got, already got a generous helping of yellow on my palette. Um, and I have a fairly large brush that I'm gonna use. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of water on that just so that um, it's not so thick. Just a touch. And then I'll the yellow and just start hitting the now the idea of the um, of the rubble is you want it to penetrate that rubble you don't want it to be um, like normal you don't want it to look like um, it's got shadows you want the yellow to be in the part that would be shadow and because the fire is a little different. Um, you want it to look like it's glowing embers, like it's uh, lit from the inside as opposed to shadows uh, going in the corner. So it's kind of reverse uh, shading. You want the lighter areas to be where it would be shaded and the darker areas to be where it wouldn't. So. So I'm just going to continue to cover this building with yellow. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I've got some pretty good coverage, but um, let it dry and I'm going to hit it again um, so I can get the more yellow on there.
Okay, so as you can see, I've hit it with the yellow. Um, I pretty much got it covered. Um, you can see some of the black through a little bit, um, but that's fine. That just adds to the um, effect. So don't worry about getting it totally yellow. That's not necessary. Um, but as I lift it up a little bit, you can see a little bit more detail now I put the yellow on the uh, rubble piles. So I've just got um, some flocking on there um, and some sticks that I've glued. These were just um, stirring sticks. Um, I've broken them up um, and scattered them on the, glued them to the floor so it looks like beams and uh, part of the building that have caved in. So I uh, just wanted to show you some detail on that. And now I'm going to move to the next step. So really all the fire effect is, is um, adding different shades to the fire to make it look like fire. And um, so what we're going to do is move on to using an orange. So I've got my brush a little wet here, it's not totally dry. And um, I'll just start flicking that on there. Um, also kind of stippling. So we'll just do that over the entire building. So now that the yellow, the yellow just doesn't look like straight yellow, it's starting to have a variance in, in shade color. So I finished painting the orange on. Um, as you can see it adds a nice uh, variance. Um, you don't have to wait for the yellow to dry when you do this. Um, it's probably actually better if you don't. Um, so just use the same brush and continue on with what you're doing. Uh, so now next we're going to add the red to this mix. Okay, so dabbing my red on the brush, same as the others. And then I'll just start and I'm kind of doing it from the bottom there, it kind of makes it look like fire. See how that really starts to pop out. Now see that's really starting to look like fire. Okay, now you can see um, that nice uh, fire looking texture on there. Um, but this looks like it's an uh, emblazing inferno. I want it to be, I want it to look like it's um, been some time uh, after the fire happened. So what we'll do is we'll put um, some black on this um, and it'll really uh, make the uh, place look like there's just some embers glowing in the uh, ruin of this cottage. So what I'm going to use is black, and I'm going to use a smaller brush than I did before, so I can be a little more precise with what I'm doing. So, get some black on there. And then, um, for these rubble piles, you can just start brushing on the top there. Now when you're doing this, um, stipple some darker areas, uh, but you want the um, you want some yellow to show through. So look how that's mostly um, gone out, but there, there's sort of smoking or there's some burning embers underneath. Just the effect we're looking for. Now what I like to do is start with the top of the wall there and just kind of bring it down. You need a lot of paint on your brush. And then just kind of stipple. It's 
So you're really getting that um, ember effect. So here we are, the completed husk of a house in all its glory. Um, I think it's a really nice effect. It really looks like it just burned down and that there's still embers um, on the site. Um, and to give you an idea of scale, um, I have a little peasant, poor peasant figure here that was, this was previously his house. And uh, I'll set him in the center there so you can see um, the scale of this building. And uh, there we go. That's our burned out building. Hey, this is DM Scotty. Thanks again for joining my super secret painting lair. Um, I'll see you next time on the DM's Craft.